Jordan Spieth, Phil Mickelson, Wesley Bryan, and Shane Lowry. What springs to mind when I mention these names? That's right, short game. Short game is arguably the most important facet of golf, and to be a scratch handicapper, having the ability to get up and down is vital. Stay tuned, guys, because today I learned drills from some of the best tour players around. Welcome back to Project Scratch. Welcome back to Tome House Golf, guys. Also, more importantly, welcome back to Project Scratch. We are on our way this morning at 6.45 a.m. We are on our way to the golf course to work on our short game, a massive part of golf. A part of golf that I'm pretty confident in at the moment, but nonetheless, a part of golf that you need to still work on. Project Scratch guys, we're back again. Practicing some short game, one of the most important parts of your game to get right. We're trying to get down to scratch, so what better than to actually follow the routine of a scratch golfer. Beyond that actually, tour golfers. So I've got a bunch of drills that help me with my putting and my chipping, came from Wesley Bryan and Bryson DeChambeau. And we're gonna transform our short games. First thing Wesley Bryan says he does, is just finds a straight putt, probably about six feet or so, and he just gets his alignment in by just hitting a few pretty straight parts. Doesn't really matter if they go in or if they shoot massively long, <laughs> but just looking to um, get, get his alignment in. Get his alignment in. I'm feeling good. Wesley Bryan takes the tour average from five feet and then eight feet and then 12 feet and he hits five putts from each trying to just beat the tour average. For me, I'm doing scratch golfer, obviously. So a scratch golfer from five feet makes 93%. So this is around about five feet, might be a little bit longer, but that's what we're looking to do as well. I've got them slightly different because don't want to just hit the same putt. That's one. Don't know if I'm still in shot here, but Two. Take your time with them still. This is probably a bit longer than five foot, actually. No, actually it's not. It's about five foot, so they're making 93% of these, which is tough, guys. Yes, come on. One more. <laughs> one more. Well, uh, two more. Well, one more we need to sink. Oh. Well, we've put some pressure on, guys, haven't we? This is actually longer than five foot for sure, but we've got to sink it. This is why I like these drills, because they do apply some pressure. And there we go, guys, four out of five, which I'm really happy with there. We're gonna move back a little bit. We're gonna move back to eight feet, because it does just apply a bit of pressure on your putting, and it gives you a bit of, well, it's just a bit of a game, and it allows you to record your sort of practice. Wow, I've shot. That's not a good one, guys. That's a terrible putt. Okay, that's one. That's two. Let's hold that way, thank God. There we are, four out of five again. Now, guys, I know I totally realised that I'm making, I'm hitting the same putt, but it's really just practicing starting on my line that I'm working on here. We'll come back now to about 15 feet. From here, guys, they're only actually making 15% of putts and a typical scratch golfer. I do know the break, so it might make it a bit easier for me, but we are about 15 feet or 20 feet now. I've whacked that which obviously you don't have the ability to do. Go on, go, 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 go. Yes. Oh. No, smash it through. But another drill you guys probably recognize is the my putter in here, and I've moved it around. I've put five tee pegs. So these are about just outside gimme range, really. Well, this is actually one that Bryson DeChambeau uses. Um, and basically, 
you, you're not allowed to finish until you make all five in a row. Miss one, basically you start again. This is a good one to put on pressure. By the time you get to the fifth part, you sort of got some pressure on you, so it's uh, always a good one. There you go. There you go, guys. There's a classic. Right, let's make this last one. Should be a simple putt, shouldn't it? But you get some pressure on. There we are. What you do, or what I do, is I go back and I try and do it again. This is where it gets hard, is I do another putt of length from this, from this, uh, these tee pegs, and I try again, but from obviously double the length. It really is, they help put a little bit of pressure on your putting, because you could stand there and you can make a load of putts, which is great, and you can hit them from the same place, but that, and that would be great, but when you're actually playing, there's a bit of pressure on the putt, so once you get to your fourth or fifth putt here and you have to make it, um, it becomes a little bit more difficult. Guys, chipping. This is a drill that I'm, I'm, I think it was Wesley Bryan. So all about connection with your chipping, right? You can see the club head and the, and the shaft is all the, leaning all the way up my arm as well. It's all in a straight line. And then when I'm through here, it's the same thing. So that's all about keeping the tor moving the torso really and feeling connected with it. And so in order to do that, you've got to keep your arm sort of tucked in, or that's the way I sort of feel it anyway. And so I've got this jumper over me and I'm tucking it under and I sort of shut my arms, and this is the drill that he uses, I sort of shut my arms and then I should never let go of that. I should never let go of that sort of, you know, I should never be letting that release or anything like that way or that way. It should always stay there. And you, it should force you to stay connected and obviously get you the better strike. The club head, whichever height you want it to, um, to get the right sort of execution with it. So the drill here really is just getting a jumper and doing this for a little while, maybe hit four or five shots. Jumper's back on though, guys, because it's ice cold. So anyway, my final drill that I practice my final drill that I found to practice is actually a chip, a, a putting drill, um, but it's for chipping. I'm using it for chipping, um, and this is, again is something Wesley Bryan used. Uh, and so I'm going to use it as well because guess what? I want wedge game like Wesley Bryan. Got the alignment stick down here. You can use a club or anything, um, and I'm going to chip from over there. And I'm going to give myself. I'm going to. I'm going to hit 50, 15 shots. Give myself a point. If I'm uh, behind the hole, like I've gone past the hole, but I stop before the alignment stick. Uh, no, sorry, two points. I give myself three points if I'm in the hole, and I give myself one point if I'm just short. Guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Um, do comment below any drills that you find helpful. Um, and we're gonna continue this Project Scratch. Keep coming out here, keep grinding, um, and keep learning from the best. I wanna go out and get some lessons from, from pros and play with really good golfers, so lots more to come. So do stay tuned, guys. Keep watching, keep following, keep liking the content, and subscribe if you are new. And I'll catch you in the next one.